kings of both King Arthur's knights took an oath of chivalry. So on Arthur's night was a hero bright in the war on villainy. But so a night had he stayed all right, other folk had if he shall. So the rich grew richer and the poor grew poor, unless they helped themselves. Our tale begins on a sunny day when a poor man rooked the night. Outside, but the inside's a very different story, I can tell you. <laughs> then you're glad you wear it. The fine feathers do not make fine birds. No, but they go a long way towards pulling them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? Clothes make it for man, Gregory. And in these togs, you and I will really hit the big time. Every castle drawbridge will be lowered. Every portcullis will be raised. Free food, free wine. <laughs> doesn't, your, doesn't your heart bubble at the thought? No, it does not. I mean, so up for you, you're the knight. But what about me? I'm, I'm the poor serf. Squire. Squire. Sir, same. It's all the same with difference. I mean, while, while the knight is living out in the lounge bar, his poor squire, he's, he's living off scratch in a stable. No wonder my predecessor was on tranquilizers. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, do you no harm, that seems like a lie. James. James, why couldn't I be the knight? And you be the squire. Oh, such nonsense! You've got no background, no breeding, no no family tree. Besides, the suit's too big for you. I, I could have it taken in. No, oh, perhaps a blacksmith would take him a fortnight to even taper the legs. The matter's closed. I am the knight, and you are the squire. But don't worry. I shall always insist that my personal assistant eats with me, drinks with me. Yes. Well, <laughs> any other perks you have to make your own arrangements. <laughs> so there we are. One for all, and all for Sir Yellow. Thanks. Well, as long as it's not one for all and all for thyself. Uh, good. Now then, let's get to that pub ere the towel goeth up. Right. Don't worry. I'll see that you get a square deal, sir. Uh. <laughs> Lovely, you gorgeous thing. <laughs> Time, gentlemen, please. No, no, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Silence, oh. you dog! Hadst thou not see I am having conversation with thy daughter? <laughs> My mistake, sir. Uh, time, gentlemen, please. Give in. I have tamed wilder fillies than thee. Oh, Sir Griswold, I entreat you. Do not take advantage of a poor, defenceless maiden. Mm. Ah! Oh, Dixon! <laughs> so, there is a veritable fire beating beneath that cold exterior. Well, my dear, that self-same fire shall warm me at Griswold Hall. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sire. What is it, squire, Cedric? I have just recalled, sire, that we are supposed to be dining tonight with the sheriff. The sheriff? Oh, curses and double curses. Oh, thou art an imbecile. Remind me tomorrow to put thee on another memory refreshing course. Oh, no, I pray thee, sir, not the rack again. I'm too tall for me tights as it is. <laughs> Snivelling in great. We must leave immediately. Unfortunately, my lovely, this forgotten appointment decrees that I will have to forego temporarily the pleasures of thy flesh, but only for tonight. For I assure you, I will return for thee at cockcrow. At cockcrow, do you hear? Have a pact prepared and ready, otherwise it will be the worse. For you, sir. Sweet dreams. Oh, beloved. <laughs> Come, Cedric! <laughs> oh, women, the trouble they did cause! Oh, come on, my little beauties, all is at love. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so nervous, I don't know what to do. Go oh, for the umpteenth time, try and look mature, manly, and menacing with it. 
Now you look as if you're going to be sick. Well, it's something. <laughs> We're going into a public house, a place of relaxation and gaiety. Right. This is gaiety? Chop! A knight in armour! Ten out of ten for observation. <laughs> Sir Yellow at your service. And I want about a bit of service for Sir Yellow. Wine, wine, and more wine. And food, food. Food is a secondary consideration, yeah. Don't stand there goggling, get on with it, man. Oh, for, forgive us, sir, we're all at our wits' end. You see, a villainous knight called Sir Griswold has laid claim to our own little daughter. <laughs> yes. And not to give him his desire, I mean death for us all. Never mind. Rather death than dishonour. Well, couldn't we put that to the vote? <laughs> <laughs> Unless I can find some brave warrior willing to champion me before Sir Griswold come at Cockcrow. <laughs> Cockcrow? Well, I think I can fit you in at Cockcrow. Oh, 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 you go raving mad. Oh, noble knight, how can I ever repay you? Oh, I'll think of something, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> to think that you could even contemplate fighting for my honour. I think it is thee who will be fighting for thy honour. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if it would be of any help, sir, you don't want to watch your Griswold when you fight him, you know. Oh, yeah. oh yes, sir, because he likes to attack with the sun behind him. And may ye survive the fight, sir. If you don't bring me a drink, I won't survive the night. Ah, Get on with it. Oh, don't worry about Sir Griswold. I'll look after him. That is, provided you give me VIP treatment on the house, understood? Oh, oh I'm afraid the draft's off. But we've got a terrific keg in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on, then. I've never quaffed a pressurized ale before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, on second thoughts, I'll have wine. Now, if I anticipate Sire's taste the right, he'd fancy something of subtle promise and a full body. Piers, where is your daughter? <laughs> She's upstairs, sir, warming your bed. Warming my bed, impatient jade. Put her down at once. Let's share a flag and a wine. Together. I'll do that, sir. Yes. Ah. What are we hanging about for? Why we, don't we just drink up and disappear? The way you're going on is eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow. Tomorrow you and I will just be a cloud of dust on the horizon. One hour before cockcrow. That's better, James. You have me worried with all that bravado chat. Well, don't you see the bigger the bravado, the bigger the credit. Now, stop impersonating a frightened hen and help me build up the image so that we can have a night to remember. Champion, I fly to thee! <laughs> oh. But before we drink, brave warrior, Accept this. Tis a lucky charm. Very lucky. <laughs> and, and where you wear it, no harm will be fooled. Well, I'll think of somewhere. <laughs> I'll wear it on the drinking arm. Dinner with a champagne. Utterly a wasted ride. The next time, imbecile, when thou rememberest the day of an appointment, kindly ensure in future that thou hast the right week. Don't. What a physique. <laughs> oh, I'll wait to your devil when you arrive. <laughs> I, I can go a bit if I want to, can't I, Greg? <laughs> Going a bit is mustard. Here, take a gander at that armour. Ninety-two fights and a pate not even scratched. Last week, he fought the two-headed giant and one in a double spangle old. Yeah. It's like if you, my masters, decided to champion you, that Nick Griswold is in for a right nasty shot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, she fainted. Italian damsel. Why dost thou molest my wench, yellow knight? <laughs> That's for the first thing. We didn't expect you till tomorrow. And secondly, <laughs> enough. Of course. Thou knowest what this means. <laughs> The yellow bad goose is cooked. <laughs> Did you work stuffing? <laughs> well, ignoring the obvious report, quickly. Look now after the bird. Right, not that one, this one. She fainted. Get her off my knee. Right, <laughs> now then, my dear, 
Yes, Sir Griswold. Oh, good gracious! Surely we can we can chat about this over a meal, can't we? What a splendid suggestion! After all, it's his customary for the condemned man to eat a hearty meal before he dies. Yes. <laughs> Will you come? Or shall I? Oh, Carpus Dallas. I mean, I'm sure you're very good at cutting things up. Verily. Thank you, Sacred. Goose, make thy doom! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, I enjoy carving flesh. That's why they call me Ye Butcher. <laughs> now, to the bird. What <laughs> <laughs> lovely table manners. <laughs> Why dost thou both not eat? Well, I haven't sharpened my fingers recently. I, it's, a, it's sort of a dieting, you know. Dieting? Ha! A plague on my diet, that's what I say. A short life and the merry one. That's what I say. What the sayest of thou? For what I'm about to receive, may I be truly <laughs> He says, I he says, I know you did. He says, I'm sorry. He says, don't be sorry. She's died and left me 10,000 quid. Settle. The contest shall be battle axes a cock crow to the death. Art thou trying to say something? I was only just thinking why should two gentlemen like us battle over a bint? I mean, women are so worthless anyway, aren't they? I mean, if they like men, they wouldn't marry them. Of course, what an admirable statement, Sir Knight. And therefore, to make it a real worthwhile contest, we'll have a little wager on the side. Let's drink to that. Oh, curses, they're both empty. Get thou the landlord, Cedric. But the landlord and his family are outside. They've gone to the village selling tickets for the big fight tomorrow. Oh, dear. <laughs> for for themselves. We are sitting here parched. Oh, dog's teeth! This merely increases my displeasure. Oh, oh, cat's whiskers, does it really? Well, then, <laughs> we'll go and fill the don't you worry. What wouldst thou demean thyself by assisting this half pint, sir? <laughs> I've got to keep close to him. He's got the housekeeping money. <laughs> I warrant you'll not be so witty at cock crow. Come on, let's make good our escape. The door is locked! Locked! Medieval heck. <laughs> What are we going to do? Oh, the only thing to do, I know, we must get, we must get that Sir Griswold, the worst for liquor. Good idea. I didn't know one could be the worst for liquor, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but pretty we couldn't slip him a Mickey Finn or something. A thought. What, a thought struck his thumb? Yes. What is it? Tranquilizers. Oh, what a good thought, yes. Uh, what did it say here? Uh, two, one pill to purge the urge. <laughs> and two pills to see you don't get it in the first place. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, well, just about fix him, I dare say. Uh, now then, we must remember, whatever else betide, we must only drink out of the white one. Just from the white one. That's the idea. The white one. <laughs> because I don't want to get my urge submerged. <laughs> At my age, it takes me long enough to get it going as it is. <laughs> mm. And what art thou both staring at? I was just musing how well you hold your liquor. Was your mother frightened by a sponge? It's <laughs> a fact. A fact, say hello. I have never been out drunk yet. Well, there's a first time for everything. What didst thou say? He said, I'm thirsty, let's drink to the king. Yes, the king. <laughs> <laughs> This wine tastes amiss. Is it corked? No, it's a Spanish. <laughs> but I warrant you it was a good year. 
And my master should know, drinks his hobby. Yeah, never mind thy master's dubious hobbies now. Thee will drink with thee. No, no, no. We were only supposed to drink from the white one. What did you say? <laughs> he said, you're a right one! The queen! The queen! The queen! The queen. <laughs> <laughs> thou dost not know that I rumblest thy little scheme. Thou art both trying to drink me under the table. <laughs> Very well. I'll make a wager. I wager all that that I will be ye last man standing on his feet. I tell you what, double thy money. In fact, ye skies, ye limit. <laughs> At this time, dear friends, to ensure that the contest is fair, thou will both drink first. Oh, how could anybody be so suspicious? Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, gee, we will see. Who is the last one standing on his feet? <laughs> standing on his feet? I, I, I tell you what, I am now going to propose my own little toast. The Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales! Prince of Wales! May it never close. <laughs> It amuses me that you two think that you could possibly drink me. <laughs> <laughs> Thou wert saying. We did it, we did it! And now to take to the road! Well, like that, you'll take to the air. Get him off the floor. Get him off the floor. I'm in his chair. He's a very heavy man. He's heavy. Get him up there. Now, you're. I'm going to snap him. Right. Can you bag him? Now, don't get him mixed up, you silly fool. Now, this rope and hold him still. Now, you go and get the horses ready and make good our escape. Right. Now, then, my sleeping beauty, that'll teach you to drink with strangers. <laughs> and don't worry about this. It's going to a very worthy cause. We appear to have stuck a, stuck a snag. Such as what? Well, their horses, they're all lapped up outside. And, and, and the stable's all chained and padlocked. Padlock? The squire must have done it. Oh, oh, pick, pick. I don't know how to pick a padlock. Don't you have to pick a padlock? I don't know how to pick a padlock. <laughs> Did your mother ever teach you anything? Or well, if you want anything done, do it yourself. It's raining cats and dogs out there. You'd better put something on. I'd rather put something in. Here, be careful. You don't want to get done by the breath bag. She'll be off duty by now, don't you? <laughs> now then, I'll look after Sir Griswold. If he comes to, just to numb his senses a bit with a coal box. That'll do. Now then, uh, while I'm out, don't do anything stupid. Stupid. He must have been born in a barn. Oh, well, that drink, enough nice. Makes me go. Oh, dear. Finally, it's. It does better be come down. I've never, I've never picked that pad up. Oh dear. Two drinks and I, I feel as pixelated as a newt. Gregory! Oh, I do feel quite come over. Gregory! What am I doing sitting by this door? I'm about, I remember now. We came in here last night to have a drink. That's right, we came in here and then, and then we locked you up, I remember that. And then James went outside. And James went outside. He's been outside all night in the rain. James! Oh, James! 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 <laughs> there you are! Good morning. I use the term loosely. Are you all right? I'm stuck. Stuck. Stuck through being out here in the in the in the rain. I, my arm was rusted up. I'm stuck, inoperable. Do you want any more blasted adjectives? I cannot move. 
I'm beginning to get the picture. <laughs> Don't just sit there. Get me up and mount me on my horse. How am I going to mount my horse in this constricted condition? I've just had a brilliant idea. Oh, not one of your ideas. Your ideas are all so potentially lethal. James, do not knock it until you've heard it. This is really going to work. Yes. I didn't know that he knew all about this newfangled machinery. Oh, yes. I studied the only technology. As a matter of fact, this might have been made for thee. It is used for hoisting heavy containers of alcohol. High resentification, <laughs> Gregory. No offence, James. Would you like me to go through it just once more for luck? Yes, just for your safety. Right. Now, uh, by turning your handle, I hoist you into the air. Then, I go and fetch your horse, station it beneath thee, and then gently lower you into the saddle. Such ingenuity, the mind boggleth. Well now, let's go for ye lift off. Right. Heave away, me hearty. Ah. <laughs> it's not unpleasant. Ah, that's about enough, I think. Right. Sixteen and a half hands, my horse, I think. Well now, Gregory. Yes. Now that you've got me up here, a question. Yes. How do you propose? How do you propose? To go and get the horse out of the stable, to place him underneath me here and lower me onto him when the stable door is padlocked. I bet you thought I never thought about that. In words that you would understand, yes! Well, proceed to eat my words. I I'm going to smash your padlock with the coal hammer that's in there. How do you propose to go and get the hammer to smash the padlock over there to get the horse underneath me here when you're holding the wheel which is holding me up here? I go and fetch it, silly. No, don't do that, Gregor, don't do that! No trouble. Ah! <laughs> oh, ye bird brain! <laughs> now, let us try again. And this time, when thou gettest me up there, tie the winch off with that piece of rope. Right. Ready? Am I ready? Yes. Take the string. Up you go. Going up. Going up. Going up. Yeah. Nicely. Oh. A little higher. Yes. That's about it. Tie it off there. Yes. Now then, hurry up and go and get that hammer, because Griswold Squire will be here any minute. Shan't be a chip. At last, all is set fair. Apart, that is, from a small depression moving in from the west. <laughs> nice day for trying. What art thou doing up there? Playing at pop signs, you oath! But where's thy squire? And what is more to the point, where is my lord, Sir Griswold? Well, Sir Griswold's not there! He's all tied up! He's gone out for a, a ride! He's taken a power! He's gone! He thinks there is some dirty work afoot here! I'd best arm myself! Oh, Griswold was beginning to free himself! So I gave him a couple of little taps with this! But when did his squire get here? I smash him over the head with it! <laughs> What's this you're going to do? I'm going to smash him over. Prepare to die! Duck, Gregory, duck! <laughs> you saved my life. Please, Gregory, I've had enough bad news for one day. <laughs> you bullets will soon catch up with thee. When I do... That dog, Sir Yellow, will rue the day he ever crossed the path of the mighty Sir Griswold. I heard that. I heard him say that. How are we going to get out of here? I'm still all rusted up. Now, look, don't move, James. I'll still get thee free. Ah. Isn't this lovely, James? The river, the fresh air. The money. <laughs> Here, won't Sir Grizzly won't miss it? Oh, I never thought of that. It's the spoils of war, you idiot. Yeah, but he threatened if he catches up with us. <laughs> yes, it's not a very nice thought, is it? Nothing to do with being a nice thought. I've just been stung by a bee. We must move from here. Yeah, it's very fortunate that you're able to move, isn't it? Yes, that oil that you used to lubricate my armour certainly worked a treat. And oh, no, I never used oil. We didn't have any. I used honey instead. Honey? Yes. That's why I think I take the pork. There's another one. The bees are after me. Say hello. Ah! Yeah, yeah, money, you dog. Yeah. The money, I say, dog. The money. Give him the money. Give him the money. Well, I will give him the honey. <laughs> it's honey. Yeah, after the bees. Bees said, "Oh, oh, oh, James, you did it. You did it." <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.